Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Today's video is going to be on the 2023 Numar Superstar 4065. And this is a special order coach for Joe and Terry and I cannot be more pleased with how it turned out. Uh, today we'll be focusing on a lot of the features uh, that make this a fantastic coach and also talking a little bit about the 2024 M2 106 chassis upgrade. So please, as usual, Jody, I'd like to start my videos from the inside out. Go ahead and take her on back. Uh, today's coach is really exciting because this is an absolute demonstration of what can be achieved with a little bit of forethought and a good associate that's willing to kind of walk you through all of the information and options that go into making a decision when you order your coach. Uh, so today's coach is a custom exterior color. We also have some custom tile and we also have extra outlets in a few different bays and a paint color that matches Joe and Terry's Jeep. So this is going to be a fantastic RV for this couple. They came in and took a look at it this weekend. Uh, thank you so much for the time that you spent with us. Uh, one thing I want to say though, is this is the Bermuda glazed maple. This is the matte finish. And as you can see today, we have in or have on our just our really nice accent lights overhead. So all I have on in this coach currently are the accent lights. And then I also have the courtesy lights down below. So this is a hot coach on a hot day looking really cool. And the reason I wanted to show this to you is because one of the things that's really uh, changed for 2023 is our ability to turn all of the lights on in this coach in just a matter of a few touches of a few buttons. Uh, this is a really, really nice new advent. Now, of course, in this bath in, or this mid bath uh, bunk model coach, we have windows on either side. We also have 110 outlets up above the top of the bed with grommets that come down below so you can run a cord if you'd like to be able to uh, maybe plug in your computer, your iPad, whatever it might be. Uh, for your phone, most of our clients are going to be using these two USB ports or this 110 outlet uh, on top of the nightstand and potentially storing those while they're going down the road in this little cubby down below, which is also good to keep any of your novels or a uh, water bottle, whatever it is that you might keep next to your bed. Another great feature of the 4065 is going to be the room on either side of this bedroom. So not only do you have room on either side for a CPAP machine, uh, so if you are using a breathing apparatus, you can sleep on either side and still have plenty of room so it's equal on both sides. You've got this great underbed storage on top of it. But you also have one of my favorite features, which is the ability to tuck in your blankets. So a lot of times in these coaches, especially um, with a king size bed, this is a 72 by 80, you can't get your hand in there to tuck in those, uh, those blankets and that's just a nice feature. Now we have windows that open on either side. Uh, in the 2023 model, we have this really cool kind of Fendi pattern that you'll see here. It's removable by magnet so that you can clean behind it. Uh, in 2024, that is gonna be one of the changes. They changed the fascia on the interior. Um, on the 2024 and the 2023, in the 4065, you'll have these great overhead cabinets, which are just fantastic for storing pillows, blankets. Uh, we keep all sorts of stuff in our totes. Uh, you also would have the option to have this safe in the rear, this huge amount of storage um, in the rear of the coach as well. And don't forget this garage or, or this coach isn't only big inside in the back, it also has a huge garage in the back of it as well. Uh, but also one of the nice features I think about the 4065 um, and a lot of the superstars, to be honest with you, is all of these small drawers, which are just great for keeping socks, bathing suits, underwear, all the little things that you have in your coach. And since you are probably going to have um, either, in this case, a large dog, <laughs> uh, but in the other cases where you may have kids, if you'd like to um, basically assign each one of them a drawer, that's what we do when we go camping. Everybody gets their own drawer for storage. And um, it really makes for a very nice camping situation. And with your Splendid washer and dryer, you're able to also do all of your laundry. This coach has a 150 gallon water capacity, a 60 gallon gray water tank, 
and a 40 gallon black water tank. Uh, for us, that's about four loads of laundry going down the road. So in terms of clothing, you don't need to bring as much with you when you can do your laundry. So we really like that. Now I want to mention to you, uh, again, this is a custom coach. You'll note that we don't have the televisions here in this overhead bunk or in the one below it. Uh, this is actually going to be Bridger's area. This is where they're going to put their dog. Uh, he'll have his own little bed. And Terry was opening these drawers and talking about how Bridger could have all of his leashes down here, some of his doggy toys, uh, maybe a few of his uh, you know, bowls and such. Uh, but he also will have his own puppy window and they can also close uh, this so he can sleep in. So to be Joe and Terry's dog sounds like a pretty luxurious thing. Uh, and then up here, you've got tons of room if you wanna keep totes for all of your you know, Costco stuff. Maybe you've got a party happening. You've got a few you know, cases of Truly, some beer, uh, hamburger buns, um, marshmallows, chocolate, anything you don't want to melt. Uh, so a really, really nice feature. Now also, I wanna make mention of the fact that we have here at this door, you'll note there's a much narrower uh, space down below. So for those of you who travel with a kitty, uh, that's going to be something that is advantageous on the Supreme Air because that floor lifts up and comes in. It's important to understand that when that comes in, there's quite a bit of difference between that gap. So if that's something that's important to you because you have cats, that's an important feature to cover. Bridger will not fit underneath either of the gaps, <laughs> I promise you. Um, so this is my bathroom, right? Um, what I really like about this is I have a ton of space. And again, Jason and I each have our own shelf. And then the girls, when they come camping with us, they are relegated to the top shelf. And it's really nice because everyone's got their own place to stow all of their makeup bags, all of their flat irons, all of those things. And then we keep, of course, all of our bug spray and everything else that we need, suntan lotion here in the center. Uh, we've got outlets here, of course, again, for those flat irons and those hair dryers. Plenty of room here underneath for some TP. Also, you'll note that we have our kick plate here, as well as our hose attachment. So this is easy access. Instead of having to vacuum the coach or sweep into a dustpan, you just push it right there underneath. And then another nice feature here is take a look at all of this room. Oh, I just leaned against the, <laughs> I just flushed the toilet. Um, all this room here underneath for linens and then all of your tooth, uh, toothpaste, toothbrushes, the like. Nice little place to keep your towels. The only thing missing from the 4065 Numar is the rope hook. I'm just saying, still isn't there, 2023. Been asking for a year. We'll see if I get one in 2024. Look at all this space. So I actually keep a lot of my kitchen supplies here. So like my hand towels and things like that that I need to, uh, to be able to keep. I don't wanna store them in my drawers, uh, but I wanna be able to have quick access to the kitchen. And then another nice feature here is going to be the Shower Miser Water Saving System by Aquaview. This of course is going to be the system when you switch this little dial over here to the right like this, it's recirculating your water. Uh, this is going on behind the plumbing. It's not coming into the shower. Uh, and what it's doing is it's actually going out of your freshwater tank again at 150 gallons and then back into that tank while it heats. And then after it's hot, you just switch it back over and then it will start to come out of the shower head. As you can see, you have a rain shower head and then also an adjustable wand on a slide so you can change the height there. Uh, but this is going to allow you to conserve some of that gray water space. So we really like that. Another nice feature of this course, coach, of course, is that you do have some privacy here. So if you've got people sleeping in the midsection of this coach, we can have that door closed, we can have this door closed, and we can have this door closed. In essence, giving us what is a uh, four room coach as opposed to just two rooms. Another thing I really like about this RV is this cabinet here. So this is a great cabinet. We use this right now for all of our raincoats and things that we're going to use when we are midship and maybe not stopping. This is like more of like the, the, the rest stop uh, closet where we might keep some extra shoes, a few rain jackets, an umbrella. And then here in the center, of course, we have our pantry. And again, as you can see, all of these full extension slides are so nice. They come all the way out so you can get all the way back. It's very easy to stay, uh, to stay organized in this coach and you've got a total of six drawers. Um, another feature that we talked about earlier in terms of custom tile, uh, Terry was not a huge fan of the tile that was going to come standard in this coach. So we, we wrote off to Numar, hey, what are our options? 
And I just love the way that this turned out. This is a custom tile that ties in so nicely to the countertops. It looks just great. Um, it, what we were going for in this RV was a very um, kind of a neutral palette where she could decorate without having a lot of influence from the tile, from the decor up front. Uh, so it's a very nice way for her to go in and pick out her own colors as accents. So again, customizing RVs is something uh, that not a lot of manufacturers give you that option to do, but to be honest with you, our wait time was short. Um, they were very communicative about when they would be able to be ready. Uh, we were able to actually look at the 2024 uh, in the videos that I was able to do from the Newmar Auto Show uh, versus the 2023. So also it gave us an opportunity to talk about the changes in the chassis of the M2106 as well as the decor inside of this coach. So keep in mind, I have a good handful of superstars coming in still through 2023. If you prefer this look and you're not willing to spend the extra money to get into some of the upgraded features of the M2106 chassis in 2024, you can still catch a much less expensive vehicle in a 2023 in a brand new Numar. So just be dexterous, make sure you reach out to me. Of course, if you wanna see what I have to offer, you can always shoot me a text or give me a call at 303-562-8659. I'd be happy to send over any information. And I did just order another two uh, 4065s because honestly, we only had two left. So I've got four more coming in. You have no new messages. And I have no new messages. No, you can make one of those yours. Okay, so here we talked about this as well. Really nice to have these covers here on the back of your uh, of your stove cover. And one of the things that I really like about the true induction cooktop is that I can actually put a paper towel down here and boil water without having that catch on fire. So in other words, if you've got young ones that are making breakfast, you don't have to worry about them having an open flame right underneath the, you know, the kitchen area. So that's nice. And on top of it, it's removable. So I could actually take this outside and go and cook uh, on my uh, pots and pans set. So I wouldn't need to have a separate outside set of pots and pans for my kitchen, which I also really, really like. Um, so these covers, I feel like um, there's, so what I've done is I actually found one that is a little more shallow than this. It doesn't quite fit into the hole as well, uh, but I can put my phone on it and it won't go skittering off if we take a tight turn and I've left it on the counter. Um, I talked to Terry this weekend. One of the things we talked about is maybe ordering a second one so that she could feel like she could cut with abandon on this cover as opposed to having to worry about having it marred and scratched up for resale and just ordering a second cover for the coach. So those are options that we can do as well. Uh, here you've got your silverware drawer. Also, you'll note that we have some special paints here. So this is not a standard paint job. We actually came in, moved things around, chose a different red that matched her Jeep a lot better um, and really kind of modified this coach to be exactly what, uh, what we'd like to have for our clients. So really nice aspect there. Uh, we did order the uh, dishwasher and then I also really like, again, all of these drawers in the kitchen are nice, full extension, soft closed drawers. And you know, the craftsmanship that we have in Napanee, in Indiana is really a tribute to the Amish community. Uh, of course, they're known for their woodworking and they take such pride in our product. We're so lucky to have such a fantastic uh, group of people that take so much pride in everything that they build for us. So as you can see here, there's a ton of room underneath this cabinet. And then we also have our extendable island here and then another access point under the cabinet here as well. Uh, in my Renegade Verona, I would have kept my uh, des my dustpan and my uh, hand my uh, handheld vacuum cleaner in there. Not necessary here with having central vac in my Superstar. Oh, I think I already did that one. Okay, so here we have our stainless steel dual basin undermount sink with our handheld adjustable spray and pour feature on our really attractive uh, on our really attractive faucet and also the optional kitchen window. Uh, so right here, you'll note that this does have a cover. So if you do have uh, a bunch of people with you, for instance, maybe you've got your grandkids in the bunks, you've got your adult children over here in this queen size extension, and everybody's trying to get a little shut eye, you can actually close uh, that kitchen window as well. 
And then also you'll note that we have our carefree awnings deployed. So over here above the couch, you'll see that we have uh, the three carefree awning package uh, included in this RV build. Uh, so one of the nice things is, is if you know that you don't want an exterior TV, but you want to have some awnings, instead of buying something that just has everything and things that you might not use, uh, in this case, we were able to really custom order and get this coach equipped exactly the way our clients wanted, wasting no money, which is so nice. Um, now, above here, you'll see we have a ton of extra storage. In this little bag here is the curtain that snaps into place around the front here. Um, I also have uh, the skylight covered. I'll go ahead and put that up. This beautiful sky window is a really, really nice feature for this coach. It gives us so much more clarity uh, during the morning when the sun is rising in the RV without turning on all the lights. Just a really nice way to wake up with those beautiful mountain views, um, you know, or you know, trees, whatever it is that you where, where you are. Um, just adding so much extra light in the coach. Not to mention that here in Colorado, while you're driving through those fjords, you might see some rock climbers up there, or maybe uh, some alpine mountain goats. Uh, so, very very nice feature there. And as you can see here, we have a lot of opening windows. So an opening window in the kitchen here, here, and then over here as well, we have two and then another two. So four total opening windows, which is a really, really nice feature. Now, I am going to go ahead and move this up front. Oh, and I forgot to mention. So as you can see here, uh, this surface here is flat. So this is going to be your surface for putting your drinks on. And then this is the poofy surface. So this is the surface that is going to be uh, good for you to put your legs on when you have your bed extended. But what I'd like to do is show you how much room you have in this queen size bed. So we end up having usually about five people total, including myself and Jason on our camping trips. And what's so nice about this is that we don't actually use the two bunks. So typically, my friends will sleep two on the, a couple on this mattress. Uh, so this is a nice hide a bed. And honestly, I had a 2021 Blanco 4061 come available, but it had recliners in it. And I really held out for this for the uh, couch because I thought we would use it, and we use it all the time. Uh, but so we'll have a couple on this coach or on this uh, couch sleeping, and then. Usually I'll have a friend on the bottom bunk and then everybody else is using that top bunk to keep all their duffel bags and their makeup bags, all their stuff. And it really is uh, great in terms of the flexibility it allows us in our RV. And we've done this several times. It's a really great decision for my household. Of course, you can make the decision that's best for yours. And that's another thing that we were able to do. So this is the convertible bed that can turn into a sleeper. So honestly, Bridger could have his own bed right there in front of the TV while Terry and Joe are watching a little bit of a, uh, we like to watch Stranger Things. I know I keep saying that. So for all of you um, who wonder if all I watch is Stranger Things, it's probably the only full series I've seen in the last five years. I'm not a big TV person. Oh, Jody, go ahead and show those seat belts there underneath. So plenty of seat belts. RVs don't get a lot of use when it comes to seat belts, but if you get pulled over, it's always nice to have those so that you don't get in trouble. Um, and again, this booth dinette is an optional booth dinette. You could also get this couch uh, with table and chairs, uh, and you could also get it with a Euro booth that has an extendable leaf on it that could seat up to six that comes with two extra chairs. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of ways to order this coach. Uh, but in our estimation, this was the best way. And again, for those of you that have a big dog that wants to have a place where he can lounge, you just drop this down, put that cushion in place, and man, what a great lounging area for your puppy. Also underneath here, you'll see we have one additional seat belt. So three here, one here giving us four, and then two more in the driver's seats. This, uh, this coach has a total of six seat belts. And of course, that is important for those of you who are looking to travel with your kids uh, because you can bring everybody on the road with you. You guys can all go out and do some of the fun things together. Now, another great aspect of this kitchen is gonna be the fact that we have this beautiful Whirlpool refrigerator. This is a 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. So 
In um, the Verona, for instance, they have an 18 cubic foot refrigerator. This is even bigger. And where they get that is in this depth. They also have this little shelf that slides down so you can have taller bottles here. Huge door storage, really nice meat and cheese drawer underneath, and then a great big freezer. So plenty of room for popsicles, for all the stuff that you need to make margaritas. And then this is actually where we keep our toaster oven up top here and then a bunch of uh, other containers. But one of them that we use, I keep a big uh, tub here where I keep all of my dried goods, like my breads and stuff. I used to keep them underneath the seats, but we got a mouse. And after having a mouse in the house, you know you're not keeping anything else under your uh, seats again. Now I am gonna go ahead and bring this, uh, bring this slide in here. And I don't know if we covered everything about this. So not only do we have access to lights here where we can turn all of our lights on and off, you can actually pair this to your phone. Um, and then another thing um, to mention about this coach is that you have control of your HVAC. So right now we're running this off of our eight kilowatt generator. Uh, we have it down to 69. Jody turned it down to 67 when he got in here. It was really toasty. Uh, it was actually 80 degrees in this coach about a half hour ago. So it works pretty quick. As you can see, getting us down to temperature on a nice hot day. All of your uh, generators running. You can see where your batteries are. Um, and then you have a kind of a snapshot of everything. So you could turn all lights on, all lights off. You could put your TV up if you wanted to, just by the touch of the button in the center. Turn on your water pump. Um, so everything is right here. And again, this is on your phone. So in my model for 2022, we had an all lights off switch up here underneath the bed. Those switches are still there. So if you don't have your phone synced up, you can still turn all your lights off. But it's so nice to be able to have phone control. And starting in 2023, we also have Apple CarPlay. Uh, so in 2024, some of the chassis upgrades, um, instead of having to have an aftermarket uh, tire pressure monitoring system, there is going to be one that's standard on the M2106 chassis. Uh, another change of the chassis is gonna be that instead of just having standard cruise control, you're going to have that automatic distance regulating cruise control. Now my boyfriend will not use that feature on his, uh, on his Superstar. So when we're driving, um, I'm more apt to actually not use any cruise control at all. He'll actually use cruise control fright quite frequently. Uh, he does a lot of long drive trips. I think we're over 10,000 miles already on our 22. Uh, but he would not use the lane tracking package. He'd just turn it off. But that's another feature. We've got mobilized standard on 2024. So if you're interested in understanding some of those chassis modifications and changes, uh, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to cover those. And if you haven't had a chance to take a look at the new fascias and the new decors, tune in to our YouTube channel and uh, at TTTRV or just Google, I'm sorry, not Google, but uh, type in at the top of that search bar on YouTube, 2024 Superstar. And you'll see I've got two walkthroughs on, uh, on the new Superstars there. One is on a new floor plan, it's a 3731. The other one is on a 4059, uh, which is of course our very popular bath and a half model. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my clipboard up here and bring these slides in. So one of the things that I wanna talk about is gonna be our walking space. Uh, before I do that though, I will open these cabinets. Again, we talked about giving all the kids one drawer. We like to give the kids all one cabinet. This is the driver's cabinet, so this is always kind of off limits for everybody, but you know, Stella Rose might get this one. We might give this one to CJ. If uh, you know Alexi comes camping with us this summer, she might get this one. So everybody has a little cabinet up here. And these, of course, are giving you so much storage space that you can keep things in. That one's mine. I keep my, I even keep my baseball hat in there, um, my trucker hat. Uh, but what's really nice about this is if you find stuff strewn throughout the coach, you can just kind of go put it all back, put it where it belongs and not worry about it. Um, now, uh, I know that uh, Brooke and Cass are, have been using their RV a ton. And one of the things I wanted to make sure I, I mentioned or showed is this step cover. So the step cover is a really nice feature of this coach because they have a little three-year-old. So when she's in the RV, she doesn't have to worry about falling down the stairs. She can run around here and play, you know, and just be silly like she is. Uh, and then, it, you know, the other thing I think this will be useful for is going to be for Bridger when he's in the coach and they're on the road. We don't have to worry about him falling down the stairs. Uh, now here, we're going to go ahead and bring these slides in. I've already put my uh, ottoman upside down on my table. 
never done that before, Jody. I think that that's the first time I put the ottoman on the table. Uh, but there it, there it is. Um, now, as, you, as you'll see, as we're coming in, one of the things that Jody's going to show you on our way out is going to be the way that they have actually color matched not only um, the exterior to the interior of this coach by choosing these great colors. When you buy a Superstar, your slides are also painted on the outside, uh, or I should say on the inside of the slide. So really nice feature here that when you open your slides, you have this uniformity the whole way down the coach. They're not just white. Uh, so this is a definitely a first class coach. And as you can see here, this is a locking mechanism. So in the Superstar product, there's a few things that are different in this coach. One of them is that they're self-locking, so you don't have to lock the slides yourself. You don't have to put in any kind of um, bar that holds things in. Um, on my Renegade, honestly, I never use those, but I know that you're supposed to. So um, that's a nice feature. Uh, the other nice feature, of course, is the fact that I can get through here. Uh, is this a sideways shuffle? I'd say technically, yes, but definitely Bridger has plenty of room to get in and out of here. Uh, he's a pretty big lab, um, so I think that that's nice. And as I mentioned earlier, this is just a really, really comfortable coach with lots of light coming in, natural light coming in. And uh, when you're going down the road and you're trying to watch TV, there you want to have this down. So you have to know if you're a television family, you might want to consider like a Dutch Star or a Ventana. The Ventana is the equal vehicle to this one because you are not supposed to drive down the road with your TV up. So if that's a big consideration for you, I guess the other thing you could do is just go hang out in the bedroom and watch a movie. I mean, that's what my kids do anyway, so you could do that, but that's important to talk about. Also, in terms of power access, it's really important to note that you have 110 outlets on both sides as well as USB ports, and that's a really, really nice feature to have in a coach like this. Now, another thing that makes this coach really different is going to be the fact that this cab is not connected to this house. So we're going to go underneath the coach right now and take a look at what makes this an air ride cab. Uh, none of the other manufacturers in the marketplace, whether it be Dynamax, Jayco, Renegade, none of them have an air ride cab in the front. Um, what they do is they actually weld their chassis to the house. Newmar keeps it separate. So if you can imagine, uh, keep it like imagine your head being on a swivel, right? You're, you've got your neck. If your if your vertebra were all fused together it would make it really difficult to have any kind of dexterity. You know, you couldn't get that wibble wobble in. So what they've done here is they've actually separated the chassis from the house and they've given us this little switch in here. And this little switch, when you turn it on, actually inflates the cab in the front separately from the cab in the back. You'll also note that there's some nice LED lights up here. Uh, this is a really cool feature of all of these coaches really good lighting underneath, but something that Joe really wanted was he wanted to have extra outlets. So you'll notice that in this bays we actually added some extra outlets added uh, by Numar. So that's a feature that you could absolutely have. So great base storage underneath here, but if you've got something that you want to plug in or charge outside, really nice to have those extra outlets. Now you'll also note that we have these chrome door handles. What that means, and when you see those chrome door handles on a Ventana, or on a Superstar is that they are automatically locking and unlocking. So you have a fob and you also have a button on the inside of the coach, which is a great feature for those of us who don't want to have to run around and lock everything. You can still your, use your key. You can still go in there and unlock one, and, uh, one cabinet and have the rest of them already locked. But what's nice about it is when you get out of your coach just to make sure you can just push one button, make sure everything's locked up. You didn't forget one of those bay doors. Or if you arrive at camp and you actually want to start getting unloaded, you could just hit unlock and everyone can go to town and start getting out those lawn chairs and your, your RV blanket and all those other things. Um, now another thing I want to talk about is cameras. So we have a side camera here. We also have up here next to this outdoor security light. Uh, these security lights become standard in 2024. They're optional in 23, but that little camera right there is for your 360 view. So it's a really nice feature. Another nice feature of this coach you'll see is right here. So you're going to have this beautiful HWH uh, staircase. Now this is only available like London Air and up on our Class A's. So this is a really, really nice stair. Some people have said, oh, I think it goes out too far. Well, keep in mind, it has a sensor here and underneath here. So if it hits a curb, it will stop, but it articulates. So even if it stops short, you'll still be able to use it. 
It's a really nice aspect of this coach. Another nice aspect of this coach is gonna be that we have a key code on this door handle, allowing you to lock and unlock your doors. And of course, you're all familiar with Jody ringing the doorbell when I come in, but it's nice to have a doorbell that you can ring so that you can actually hear when someone's arrived. And you'll note that there's a nice soft glow. That is a lighted handle, so you can actually figure out where the door to your coach is. Um, I also really like the new uh, screen doors that they have here. Uh, this is just a nice feature. You can close it all the way. It's, it's open on the top and the bottom, giving you some great ventilation. And then of course, just a really good looking paint job here. Again, this is a custom paint job. We moved some stuff around. We swapped where the silver was, swapped where the gray was, changed out the red, made the top white. Uh, but really we're, we were able to get this coach exactly where the client wanted it. And I can't tell you, it's so rewarding for me as a, as a sales associate to see my consumer come in and just be like, oh my gosh, this is our coach. And um, I'm happy to do that for you. I've actually, um, not only do I have the Superstar delivering, I also have a Dutch Star uh, that's delivering this week. It's another custom order. So I love the custom coaches. I'm more than happy to take some time out with you and be patient and wait for the right one to be yours. Um, so one of the reasons that we like these Super C's, of course, is going to be accessibility in the engine compartment. As you can see, everything is really easy to get to. Here you'll see our ISL or our 8.9 liter Cummins married to that M2106 chassis. Uh, filter access is really easy. Um, another nice feature in this coach is going to be how simple it is to put this up and down. So it's super easy to close, super easy to open. And then here's another one of those cameras that gives us our overhead camera. You also have these really beautiful breakaway bumpers provided by Freightliner. Your Alcoa rims are gonna give you a lot less reverberation going down the road, they're a lot more quiet. And then here is uh, the access point to your 50 gallon saddle tank on this side. These are dual fill 50 gallon saddle tanks, so 100 gallon fuel capacity on this coach. And then uh, your access point to the def tank is in this compartment on the other side, it's a six gallon def tank. Um, now, uh, well, as we go through here, again, here's that carefree window awning package. Just love that. Again, we added some extra outlets in all of these bays. So there's an outlet there as well as over here. And then as I mentioned earlier, you know, not everybody wants to have a TV outside your coach. So as you'll see over here in this next bay, there's no television. So it's a lot of money to put a TV in that bay, you guys. It's like $3,000. If you don't wanna spend $3,000 on a TV you're not gonna use, don't do it. You don't have to do that. You can call me, we can order something for you. Um, like I said, I just ordered two 2024s and I've got about 10 to 12 2023s remaining that are in, inbound. Those coaches are iced. I changed the last two uh, on Friday of last week. So in the 2023 allotment, if you'd like me to send you the details on what we have coming in, I'd be happy to. Um, again, um, the optional slide tray out here, as well as your Intervac controller, some extra tiles in the back here. These uh, trays that are manual, I really do like because they are a thousand pound weight rating. So that's actually really nice. They come all the way out, super easy to access. Get some lawn chairs in there. And I wonder if I can guess which button goes which way. There we go. So these are your awning controls from the outside. There's also a remote. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring those awnings in. Um, it was really hot about an hour ago, and now I think it's gonna like rain. So Colorado's had more rain this year than I've ever seen. It's insane, uh, but happy to have it. We're definitely getting past our drought. Uh, so here you'll see this air chuck. Uh, this plugs in up in the front actually on the driver's side, but you could have enough length to air up all of your tires. And then this little release right here is super important because this is really where we differentiate ourselves from everybody else in the competition. So that air ride suspension is one aspect of it, but take a look at all of this storage. So there's so much storage back here. Uh, we actually keep an outdoor table here, all of our extension cords. Um, I can't tell you how much stuff has ended up being in the garage of this coach, but it's so nice because you're so organized. Whenever you get to wherever you're going, just come in here, turn your lights on, get everything out that you need, turn it off, close up the back. If it's raining or drizzly out and you need to get things kind of out while you're you know, getting your camp set up, you've got a really nice overhead protection as well. And again, this is a 20,000 pound towing capacity. 
on a 360 horsepower engine with 1,150 foot, down, 1150 foot pounds of torque. Uh, you've got a three inch receiver. It comes with a two inch ball and you can flip that over into a two and five sixteenths inch ball as well. So it's reversible. That is a standard feature. It comes with the coach. Again, all of these nice docking lights that you see, uh, there's some security and docking lights that are optional on this coach, which we've actually added in that option. They're going to be standard next year. Another feature that they made standard in 2024 is this coach is no longer offered as a propane model. It's going to be all electric. And in the bunk model, the windows are going to be standard as well. Now you'll note that we do have our seven pin connector as well as our pre-wire back here. And then we also opt, we opted for the optional buddy plug on this coach. Here's another one of those cameras for your overhead camera package. So you've got your rear view backup camera, and then you've got your 360 overhead camera, which is a really nice feature to have. Um, I am able, here's that buddy plug right here. Um, and then there's your actual, uh, you've got a downsizer, and then again, those reversible ball hitches. Um, but I'm able to keep all three of our paddle boards back here. Um, and then in that compartment in the garage, what's really nice is I don't have to break the paddles down. I can actually just put the whole paddle straight in. Um, so really, really have been loving uh, the use of our new, our new to us 22 uh, Newmar Superstar. Again, that carefree awning package outside, your bunk windows. Oh, and you know, Adam asked me, he said, Katie, are you gonna be able to turn the generator off from the inside of the coach? And I said, yes, Avin, I'm gonna turn the generator off. Avin, I forgot, I'm sorry. Okay, here's your whole house water filter, your exterior shower. You'll also see that little hose down there that is on a, a power retractable reel so you don't have to stow it. It actually gives you a lot more room. And then in here, we actually keep um, half of our hose because we've got one of those 20 inch gorilla hoses with the clear elbows which attaches right here we keep one half in here and then we keep the reserve half in here along with a box of gloves so that's a really nice aspect there a nice feature to have um, great water bay super easy to use very conveniently located uh, right next to your eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator by onan if you opt for the Supreme Air, you'll get a 12.5 kilowatt. We have never needed anything beyond this for our air conditioning. It's always been more than enough. Uh, but of course, you know, listen, you can always go big. Always go big. Um, here we have our eight, uh, eight, these are lead acid batteries. In one of the brochures, it says AGM. Please note they are not AGM. Um, I think I made that mistake on like six videos. And then I had to go back and look at my coach and I realized I didn't have AGMs either. I had lead acid batteries. Um, there are eight of these batteries with 800 amp hours. In 2024, you'll have an optional lithium ion battery pack. Keep in mind, that gets you from 800 amp hours up to 640, unless you buy that extra battery. And this is not an inexpensive pack. So if you're curious about why you would consider lithium, what the benefits are and certainly uh, somebody had made comments on my videos stating you know hey it's too bad you're not a fan of lithium-ion batteries well excuse me that's not necessarily correct sir um, i'm not a fan of spending money on things that aren't going to benefit you and i'm also a fan of making sure you're completely informed on what you decide to do with your coach before you decide to do it and in certain cases absolutely lithium is the only way to go but in a lot of cases people just don't need that technology yet and at this point in time, it's still pretty pricey. Um, in the 2024 Dutch Star, they added an extra inverter so you could have an AC that's running off that battery pack. It's not the same for the 2024 Superstar. So again, I don't know if I'd spend that money or not. Uh, let's talk about how you are going to go camping, where you're gonna go camping, uh, how you use your coach and make sure we make the right decision for you. Um, but again, 800 amp hours of battery, plenty of storage. Uh, this is your hydraulic uh, pump. So you'll note that this hydraulic pump isn't just powering our hydraulic leveling jacks by HWH, it's also powering our steps. So this is a really, really nice feature. Uh, the partnership with HWH has been uh, in play for quite a bit of time. So we have really, uh, over the last 30 years, figured out what works for this coach and they have done a fantastic job. Oh, look at that, that's good luck right there. That's a dragonfly. Um, a fantastic job though in supporting our manufacturer um, and we are uh, very pleased to also use the Oasis system for our hydronic heat. So this coach doesn't just have two 15,000 BTU air conditioners with heat pumps. 
It also has hydronic heat. So again, this is an all electric coach with a tankless hot water heater. But when you get this hydronic fluid rolling through the coach, it's in this boiler. It's in a tube that's going underneath the coach. It's thermostatically controlling your bays underground, so you're not going to have to worry about having that freezing effect. Uh, there are heat strips optional on this coach, which we have opted for. Um, but on top of it, uh, you have the ability to have a much quieter form of heat in much cooler situations. Those heat pumps don't work much past 38 degrees. Um, so really nice feature there. Here we do have a longer power cord uh, than most manufacturers. This is a 50 foot power cord on a power reel. Of course we have that because it's located here in the front of the coach as opposed to the rear. And then of course you have your inverter and your surge protector as well as your uh, cable input. So a lot of people are still using cable these days. I get that question quite frequently. If you're one of those folks, that's where you find it. And again, here's that overhead camera, your carefree awning package over the driver's, uh, I'm sorry, on the driver's side above the bedroom window and then also above the couch, giving you a much cooler coach in the summer. And on top of it, let's just go ahead and open this up so we can see you've got your uh, air controls for your lumbar higher and lower, as well as the ability to raise and lower your seat. These are heated seats. And this, uh, this seat does turn completely around. This is where your chassis control is to turn your chassis on and off. And then I know we've done a ton of videos about this dash. I'm hoping I can catch a 23 and a 24 here in at the same time so that I can show you uh, what the uh, dash differences are. Uh, for those of you that are interested in looking at the differences, again, that's gonna be on that 2024. Here is your def tank. And then here is your diesel tank as well. So there's your fueling stations. Um, and then one of the things I think it's worth mentioning too is that this is a really nice aspect of this coach. So you have very easy uh, entry seats here. There's a lot of places to step up. There's big wide steps to get in and out of the coach. Uh, there's a reflector on the door so when you open it, you don't have to worry about someone not knowing that you've got the door open. Um, but on top of it, this is one of the benefits to a Super C, right? When it's time to stop at night, you can just jump out of the driver's door, hit that fueling station, hop back in, get back up on the road because you have three entry points in a Super C where in a Class A, you only have the one. So that's definitely a nice selling feature. You've got your chrome convex mirrors as well as your uh, pre-wire. This is for your CB system. So if you'd like to get a Cobra installed, we'd be happy to do that for you here at TransWest. And again, we talked again about this easy access into this engine compartment, but I also just wanted to make sure that we talk quickly about the jump points that are here under the hood, so that if you do need to jump your coach for some reason, you can do that. And then again, super easy to open and close. Uh, this is just a beautiful example of an RV that is really fun to drive down the road. Uh, this has got a 245 inch wheelbase. Uh, that is an improvement from 2022 to 2023. It will be the same wheelbase in 2024. Uh, that's 13 feet tall. This is 40 feet, 10 inches long. And I'd love to make one yours. Please let me know how I can get you out on the road and camping. Thank you so much for tuning in today and have a very happy Monday.